Gear up! Let's move! You think you got some guts, don't you? This isn't us. Well, look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Let's move. Call of Duty has changed. It's got a new, albeit old, World War II setting, fresh multiplayer, and of course, zombies. But is it enough? Here to answer that question is Leon Hurley. Hello, Hello. Leon. Hello. So let's start with single player. Uh, it's changed. It's got a new setting. But you think it's more of a, a greatest hit than a cohesive story? Uh, I think it's interesting in that, um, obviously, World War II, the, the old CODs, the problem with World War II is once they've done the beach landing a few times, they've done this a few times, that a few times, they were struggling to find different things to do. So you end up in Italy, you end up in Africa. This is kind of free from that constraint. So it's kind of like, yeah, we're going to do we're gonna do the beach landing. We're going to do that bit from Band of Brothers where all the trees explode and they have to get in the trenches. And like, So it really ticks the boxes of like kind of popular sort of memories almost of like World War II action. But the first half is a little weird because the first half kind of jumps around a bit almost. It feels a bit like the order you're playing the levels in is not the order they were made in. Almost like it's been like what they do with TV shows where they rearrange the episodes to make mm. the, it more exciting at the beginning. Um, the last half is great. Like last half settles into a proper you know head of steam. Momentum builds up. You have a clear purpose. The first half is a little bit kind of like, what am I doing now? Why is this happening? Um, but... It is. Uh, it works overall. Like the the getting rid of all the gimmicks and the guns is really nice. Like it's quite. It's a slower sort of pace now, and the guns feel more meaningful because you have like Thompson machine guns and these Type One Hundreds and these old kind of clattery tin machine guns. But you pull the trigger, they make a noise, somebody dies. It's it's sort of cleaner and more enjoyable. There's less of that kind of space race stuff where you used to have like hollow hollow displays everywhere and like guns that did weird things and drones flying over this is like point gun shoot man that's all you have to worry about and moment to moment it's still full of the classic like cod spectacle and oh yeah and yeah all that. it does some, there's some great stuff. i mean the the, the d-day landing is brilliant it's that proper kind of like you know you stand there for a second you're like my, my initial thought when it started was like jesus christ how did anyone do this in real life like i mean it like not to belittle in any way but it's like it's just this incredible sort of spectacle there's moments when buildings are collapsing later on they, they do the uh Hurtigan forest which was in uh, the band brothers tv show that was an artillery attack and in in the tv show the trees are exploding and falling and they do that like perfectly um it's very much has gone back to that kind of uh the original cod thing where you're almost kind of like i recognize this bit from that film or that tv show but it does do a good job and you do sort of wander around like almost like looking up and go wow this is amazing and also i'm dead now and so even if you're not interested in Call of Duty multiplayer is still a solid single player shooter as it always has been really. Yes, yeah, like it's 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 always it's always a good sort of single player. So the package is always good each year. This is the the first year in a while I think that um the single player it just it just struggles to find its feet like it's sort of really anxious at the beginning to show off some some variety and some sort of breadth to what it can do and it weirdly gets better when it just gives you your four guys and you go off to do a th one thing at the end. Um but there's but yeah, there's lots of stuff going on. You know, you're riding around in jeeps. You're doing a few sort of spy stuff. There's a lovely bit where you go undercover into a German embassy, and they keep asking for your papers, and you you have to remember your papers because they go so you know what officer are you working for? You know what country are you from? Where are you going? And if you get it wrong, then they know something's up. So right. you, you properly have to play as a spy. And it but basically that reference is a very famous level in Medal of Honor two, I think where you have to walk around and you don't have a gun and when you press fire, you show them your papers. So it's, it's kind of doing a modern version of that and it's, it is really good fun. Okay, well let's move on to multiplayer then. Everything's been stripped back, there's no jetpacks anymore. No. We're in the classic settings from World War Two. So what is that like to play now it hasn't got any of that technology? Uh, it's just, it's really good fun. Like I genuinely loved it. Like normally, um, you know, I play a lot of Overwatch, I play a lot of Destiny. When I go into sort of Call of Duty, it's just, there's flashes and noises and people rush past and you're kind of like struggling to keep up with you know whatever combination of store score streaks and gadgets and things people have got now it's you still kind of have gadgets and score score streaks but it's much simpler you just have a gun you have some grenades you have like abilities that tie to different classes so you have like uh assault expeditionary mountaineer um and they're like basically snipers assaults that sort of thing but it's much cleaner it's a little slower pace because obviously you don't have the boost jumps but that just makes it more sort of accessible and easier to process so and it's much more about like being aware of the space and knowing that if you run around that corner you're probably going to get shot to pieces you'll probably take it slow you know it's sort of spatial awareness and your skill with the guns rather than having the best gear and knowing that that bottleneck is always where you're going to get someone 
Uh, and I genuinely, yeah, really enjoyed it. There's a new mode called War Mode, which is like sort of an objective-based thing. So, for example, D-Day, you play the D-Day beach landings, one team attacking, one team defending, and you start, you have to try and hold or take the beach, then you have to destroy some radio gear, then you have to sort of blow up some guns so the beach can be taken. There's three maps. It needs more because the three maps, like, you get used to them pretty quickly, but you're escorting tanks, you're trying to destroy artillery. Every time you, you win or lose a point, it moves on to another one, so you're progressing through this sort of linear um, series of objectives. That's really good fun. Uh, like I say, it does need more maps. But overall, it's it feels like if you've always been put off COD because of the sort of the future tech and that whole sort of the speed of which it goes by, this is much more sort of, I don't want to say slower, like slower, but it's it's taken back a notch and it is just much more about how good are you at shooting people, mm. not how good are you at unlocking stuff. And that's that's just the war mode that has three maps. Like they're all the oh, sorry, yes, yeah, there's, there's uh, right. sorry, yeah, there's about 10 maps, I think, in... Uh, in the main single player, uh, and they're really good maps. So you've got Caratan, which is back from uh, well, uh, from Call of Duty Two, which is the small French village, and that's still a brilliant map. It's like just loads of corners. You're sneaking through houses. You're having like a little firefight every sort of twenty yards or so. That's really great. There's a really good map called Gustav Cannon, which is the famous Nazi cannon that was the biggest cannon in the world. It's only like I had to put it on a train. It was so huge. That's a very long, thin map with lots of uh, open spaces that's a really good for sniping one there's a brilliant map i forgot the name of now it's basically on the top deck of a, of a battleship and that's great because it's like it's like the world war no sorry the call of duty 4 map that was set on top of a uh, the tanker mm -hmm. so it's just long thin um, but quite small so it's like it's too short for sniping but there's long long spaces where it's risky to run through so they all, all the maps feel really good it's really um like well designed there's lots of variety you're, you're always thinking like i should probably change out my gear for this map because it's you can't just sort of find one loadout that will do everything and you've got the the core multiplayer mode in there that everyone we familiar with yep. so like tmd and hard linker in there yeah there's also a new take on gridiron no grid well gridiron's a new thing so uplink, new take on uplink yeah, yeah uplink used to be the one with the ball where you sort of run around and it was a bit more sort of basketball-y almost because you obviously had the boost jumps and wall runs so you'd grab the ball and you'd be trying to run around to score points by throwing it in a in an area gridiron is like a Oh God, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to say a boots on the ground version of that because obviously you can't jump, you can't run around. It's a bit more like American football if you were playing it in a park. Mm -hmm. um, and I never got on, I never particularly liked uh, Uplink. I thought it was a bit kind of gimmicky. And I went into Gridiron with the same sort of feeling, but you get into it. Like there's a proper push and pull of grabbing the ball and trying to get it to the points. And, and because there isn't all the, the sort of the gimmick and the flash and the, the whiz bang happening around you, you are you start to sort of shout out where the ball is and I need some, I need some, someone to go up here and I'm going to pass it over there and it actually works surprisingly well. Okay, and then on top of all that, you've got the pit, which is the 1v1 area where you can go and just yeah. challenge someone to a so, fight with any type of weapon, really. Yeah, well, so this is in headquarters, which is essentially Call of Duty's tower, um, like like Destiny's tower. Um, and you go there, there's, there's contracts and bounties to pick up where you do your emblems, your gun customization, but there's also, there's a firing range for like shooting to test out your guns and score points the pit is a, a 1v1 arena the yeah you're going with a friend and it's quite small it's it's like literally like a sort of half a tennis court size so it's it's all about you go in there you you're dead in like minutes and you come back out and you you repeat it um but it's really good fun and you can pick like sensible weapons you can pick machine guns you can dual dual wield like pistols or whatever but it also has stupid stuff so there's like one hit kill spades and there's like panzer shrek rocket launchers and you know you're having a one-on-one -on -one rocket launcher ma la launcher match in a an area that's like a hundred yards square it's chaos and you sit you can stand around and watch people playing you put your name on a board and everyone takes turns to go in if you win you you spawn on top of a bunker and the only way you can reach that roof is if you win so you get to sort of stand there and go i'm the winner and then you jump back down and go straight back in um but yeah it's brilliant like stupid fun and the headquarters is good for that like in the same way the tower is you i'll just go to the tower and then two hours two hours later you're still there fiddling with bits and pieces that's what headquarters is but for call of duty Okay, and then finally we've got zombies, which was the only thing that you found a little bit disappointing because it's just zombies again, which yeah. isn't a bad thing. It's no, yeah, it's like it's, disappointing is a bad word. Like I don't mean like it's bad. Like it's great. It's good. It's it's zombies. But it's after they were sort of teasing like, oh, something's coming. It's going to be all something's different. You know, look, wait, wait till you see new zombies. And it's just zombies. And in fact, if anything, it's more like uh, you know, Nacta Untoten, like the the original zombies, where it's dark and a little bit somber. Like all the zombies are like. The idea is that this is like the efforts of the Third Reich's like last ditch attempt to win the war. And they found a way to like surgically 
bring soldiers back to life so it all sort of ties in a bit to like mangler and stuff like that and you know so all the zombies come out and they've got surgical braces and like armatures and stitches they look like they've been frankensteined back to life um but it is the same thing you start off in a small area you kill some zombies you get some points which are called jolts you use that to buy guns to open areas to unlock um like power-ups like like quicker revives uh you, there's like an armor machine that gives you some armor um, and it's the same thing, you, you, you progress through different areas, unlocking them. This has got a slightly more obvious narrative to it in that you get objectives saying, you should open the salt mines now. Like, and so if you follow those, you will get led through, but that's not the only way of completing it. Um, and yeah, disappointing is not quite the right word. It, it's still great fun, like I really enjoyed it. It's just a sort of sweary, stressful shouting at your friends and whatever, but it's no, it's no different to any previous zombie mode. Okay, well, that's Call of Duty World War Two. What are we giving it? Uh, four out of five. Okay, well, that's our Call of Duty World War Two review. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more reviews, previews, tips and guides right here on Games Radar Plus.